Hello, Sault Ste. Marie. I appreciate the opportunity to deliver a Canada message to you today. We certainly have a lot to be grateful for as Canadians. We live in a beautiful country. But as we come together to recognize Canada Day, we also need to recognize that it has a dark history. We are all learning about that history now through the Indian residential schools. We have to make sure that as we come together to recognize Canada Day, we reflect on that history, that we learn about it, that we make an effort to understand what the residential school system did to Indigenous peoples and how that affects them to this day. We have a responsibility to listen to Indigenous peoples and to learn from Indigenous peoples and to respect what they have overcome and are overcoming and to come to understand and appreciate and respect the culture and the leadership that they offer us. So I ask that as you come together to recognize Canada Day, that you make room for that reflection and that you make an effort to learn the truth of our country's history. And I wanna end <clears throat> on a positive note. As a community, we have done exceptionally well through the COVID-19 pandemic. I think as of today, there is one active case in the Algoma region. And I'm not sure that case is in Sault Ste. Marie, but I want everybody to be mindful of the fact that those are only the cases we know of. And the variants appear to be much stronger. So the fact that we are doing so well and our numbers are so low isn't an indication that we should stop doing what we're doing. It's an indication that we need to keep on doing what we're doing. So as you come together today, as you spend time with family and friends, please continue to follow and respect public health advice. I want to thank all of you in our community who have made sacrifices over the last year and a half. It has been a challenging time, but we have come through it. We have come through it stronger and there are better days ahead. Thank you.